write that review. Boot up the lappy. Oh, I gotta sit through the booting up screen? God, this thing is older than that shit I have right now. Just keep it open, dude. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and... This is an interesting game, isn't it? Alright. Surely. No one reads books anymore. Work is finally out of the way. Time for bed, but first log out. Or you could read some OK Today and catch up on some real news before you sleep. I could do that. Uh, let's see here. Let's look at my mails. I'm, I'm not reading things. I keep forgetting to read things. I'll be reading things now. Uh, spam mails? Get cheap crash. Only 99 creds for 30 day supply. 212 stims. Uh, no thanks. Scam mail. Hello there. I am Prince Thomas. Yes, the Prince Thomas. Heir of the Digital Empire of Horse Books. 392413. I need your help to secure my great fortune. Of course, we'll reward you handsomely for your assistance. Please, if you could send your personal credit ID marker. Everyone uses credits in the future. It's just such a futuristic sounding term, dude. Uh, past due bill. Your account is past due in the amount of 216 credits. Failure to restore your account may result in termination. P -p -p Power Co. Wow, future. Hmm, food or electricity. Both are necessary. I know them feels. Hey there, I'm the lead editor of Omgzounds. Wow, it really is the future, isn't it? We're a new up-and-coming audio review feed looking for hot talent. We'd love to feature any product reviews you'd like to do for us. We'd be able to give you some great exposure. If we like your spuff, we could possibly throw some creds your way. Doesn't anyone pay <laughs> Yeah, doesn't anyone pay their journalists anymore? I do know. <laughs> another article, another paycheck, and it's all going straight to your rent. Yep. Uh, promotional mail. Coupon for five credits back. Whoa. Alright, Hassy Infinity has all your daily calories with none of the nutritional value. It's the opposite of a diet version. Invitation. An invite to come see the lightning ceremony of the Christmas tree downtown from your friends at Dr. Tricia Le DDS. What is a dentist wants you to see a lightning ceremony? Feels like a Yeah, that does feel like a trap, doesn't it? I don't know, maybe the future's different. Maybe dentists just fucking don't have anything to do anymore. Uh, people can just get cyber teeth. This is your weekly update from Vintage Jack, your number one source of classic technology. Popular pieces this week. King of Click, a retrospective on the classic Model N keyboard. What the fuck is a Model N keyboard? No, I don't want to unsubscribe from this. Do I have no other way? Do I have to unsubscribe from this newsletter? I wouldn't mind actually watching that. It sounds like something I'd constantly look at. Subscription cannot be modified. Oh shit, it's the bad future. We're fucked. Uh, Lips Live. Anything cool? Lips Live, the premier online video network. This app is like a mesh of all active streams. Am I, am I going to see myself? Is this going to be a fucking, like... Is this going to be a Spaceballs reference? Turn on the altar beats and they sync automatically. Lappy speakers feel neglected. I'm so sorry, Lappy. What can I not actually like? Oh, I'm watching a baby animal video. Okay, that's cute. Um, let's go to OK Today. Uh, current events. Sure, why not? Story about the human revolution. All right. Human revolution remains vigilant in hashtag stay human movement. Hashtag still exist in several years? Fuck that. The human revolution is on day- <laughs> That came out wrong. <laughs> the human revolution is on day 10 of their protesting outside the various genus buildings around the city, including those in the East Bay and down the peninsula. Genus, the gene splicing treatment facility, has been met with much controversy since the organization- Holy shit, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I woke up at 5 this morning. Reached mainstream exposure last year. 
Genius employee Mort Crane spoke to OK today exclusively. According to him, most genius workers are up in arms, claiming they're being terrorized in their own city. We are here to protect people, or to help people who need gene therapy for their own personal reasons, whatever they are, said Crane. Individual rights, er, individual rights have always been of paramount importance to us, he continues, and we believe that our customers have the right to live as they please or require. The human revolution stands behind their claims that Genus is diluting the human experience by providing hybrids with gene splicing treatments. The, I don't know, this feels like a bunch of bullshit to me. The group feels like the goals started by Genus, in addition to be newer cybernetic technology are working humanity into a very scary, dark future. They're playing God in the most senseless of ways. We were born human! Who are we to mess with our genes and start turning everyone into who knows what, said one protester, who asked to remain anonymous. It's ridiculous and scary. It's not human. More information to follow as the story develops late into the holiday season. This is, uh, this is following the gen general adventure game style of, um, shoving all of exposition at you. Hometown Neo SF 49ers. Wait, didn't aren't the 49ers not okay, whatever. Uh I don't know shit about sport ball, so. Hashtag Quest for 10 is back on. Sunday's big game at New Candlestick brings an important All of this flies over my head. Brings an important question to everyone's mind. How can the 49ers punch their ticket to the playoffs and bring the Lamborghini L Lombardi trophy back to Neo San Francisco? It would mark the first win since the move to New Candlestick after an almost 50-year hiatus from the city. Since returning, they've had disappointing losses to the Mexico City Luchadors and the New York Giants. Alright, well, the Giants are still existing. So the Luchadors? Holy shit. They brought on fresh coach, but controversy surrounds their new quarterback, Patricia Lopez. Oh, that's nice. I don't mind that. As some vocal sports fans continue to accuse her of having cybernetic implants in her throwing arm that illegally enhance her abilities. Certain modifications of implants are banned by the league, but their official report states that their repeated investigations of Lopez found no evidence. It's relevant to point out that Lopez is the first woman to ever be quarterback in a major football team. Okay, so it's just now happening. The 49ers look to reclaim their top spot since the last win with their Super Bowl... I don't know, victory over the Tokyo Titans. Oh, are we all combining into... Wait, since when did any other country play American football? I'm calling bullshit on this. This is not a realistic game. <clears throat> anyway, Sunday's game is a rubber match, and the winner secures a spot in the playoffs. Between our Nero SF 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs, it will be a close game, to say the least. Holy shit, stop with this. For all things everything, I'm June Valmarana. Okay today. All right. How many more? Okay, we got one more no local news article to read. Story about a broken down Froyo stand. What the fuck is Froyo? Golden Gate Park vandalism. Reports show that local foodie attraction JJ's Froyo stand was destroyed last night in what appears to be another case of Rogue Rom committing an act of vandalism. Oh, Jesus. The cart was evidently attacked and damaged by a large Rom that had no shell. Witnesses state the alleged perpetrator has been randomly appearing at night before lumbering back into the nearby park forest. Is the park, like, that forested? You can't see and hunt people? This is the first case of a ROM being reported to live on its own in the wild as a stray. Police say that tracking down a potential owner of the ROM is likely impossible. Some speculate the strange ROM may have been framed by vandals who set the crime deliberately to make it appear to have been carried out by the ROM, rogue, or under orders. OK Today reached out to Parallax for comment, and they assured us the Rogue ROM is purely a myth that stands to pop up conveniently when low-revenue businesses have the urge to file an insurance claim. Parallax did not appreciate the reports of vandalism being contributed to their models. Yeah, I don't think anyone would! Is this Wild ROM a re the real deal, or could it be a fairy tale? Is this Wild ROM the real deal, or could it be a fairy tale created by those looking to make a quick buck? Or perhaps there's something more to be gained. More as the story progresses. Mel Hopkins. Oh, if only I could be doing that. Okay. Maybe I'd be able to live in not spoiled milk land. Alright. Sleep old times. Hello, bed. Maybe you would feel less silly talking to us if I had a portrait printed on the sheets. Or on the pillow. No, that's just weird. Uh. <laughs> ha! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Let's sleep in my bed.
Oh! Good morning! <laughs> how- how- Ah, good! You're finally awake! <clears throat> Hold on, I need to give this guy a good voice. I gotta, like, <laughs> I'm honestly not sure why most humans still have such lengthy sleep schedules. Are you that significantly opposed to cybernetic and augments? I think the, <laughs> I think the general the, the general question would be, how the fuck do you get in my apartment? But honestly, if I'm playing as me, I'd just be like, huh? Because I don't... They're like, what? Because I don't, I don't wake up. It takes me like five minutes in the shower to wake up. What? I hope you don't mind. While you were asleep, I had some spare time on my hands, so I reorganized your records and entertainment media using Bisac. Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for the long-term performance of my microoculators. I don't even know. So I took the liberty of cleaning up the place a bit. As you woke, I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer, but I've run into a bit of a snag. Um... Tell me why you're here, I'm calling the cops. Um... Okay, how'd you get here in the first place? I came in through the front door. The cybographic algorithms it uses are quite abysmal. It only took me 17 trillion lock clock cycles to break your entry code. It looks rather imposing, but it's actually a knockoff of the sec secu gate. Okay, I'm not good with numbers. Um, 17 trillion? I knew my landlord was full of it when he said it was the best. Don't feel too bad. I actually cheated a bit when I cross-referenced a known significant number of numeric codes against the stored personal data on you. I'm not certain why you picked the birthday of your first dog, but it was sufficiently obscure to defeat most casual attempts to enter. And that is insanely obscure. I don't know the birth date of my first dog. Frankly, I felt a little silly that I took the time to do it once I noticed the lock on your window was broken. And that you left it open. You know my dog's birthday? <laughs> How do I know my dog's birthday? Uh, my window's lock is broken? <laughs> yes, I attempted to repair it, but it uses a proprietary bolt head I am not equipped to remove. I took the liberty of filing a maintenance request with your building superintendent. Considering the speed at which he has historically worked, I swear it'll take him 16 working days to complete the repair. Not quite my standards. You know my dog's birthday? Honestly, it would have taken me longer if I had it into the codes manually, but it was trivial to slice through the door's firewall and try, and try against the stored data directly. I would suggest investing in an NCEF model 1355. The 1385 is newer, but I find the added attack vector introduced by the- Oh god, Spock! Fuck off! <laughs> it has 305 star ratings on Congo. Uh, good. Unfortunately, your motherboard seems to have broken down in some way while I was attempting to remove some particularly nasty, na nasty malware. An electrical surge caused significant damage to several other components as well. Lappy, no! <laughs> Goodbye, fair Lappy. We knew thee well. I would consider it no great loss, though. Why, why were you using that dinosaur to begin with? Hey! Lappy was a true friend, not like you. Um, I don't have enough money for a new computer. Also, all my work was on there, you bitch, but I'm gonna say that. Don't fret. I did manage to back up your data's drive of contents before the crash. Additionally, I am willing to service your personal computer until you can procure a replacement or provide the parts necessary for me to make the repairs. It is the least I can do. Um... Uh, that's nice, but you still haven't told me why you were here. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, but I tend to ramble a bit when I'm nervous. I have all the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. You know my friend Hayden? Hayden Weber? Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. I haven't seen Hayden in years. Where is he? I don't really know. That's why I'm here. Help me. You aren't quite my only hope, but certainly the most statistically supported. I have done the math. Uh, okay. Well, just start from the beginning. Imprecise, but I think I know what you mean. 